Hey, welcome back. I'm Scott, your host of Capital Edition. We're going to a little bit of Caribbean today, and I got my friend Sonia helping me again, back by popular demand. Oh, yes, wow. she is. I am. Are you happy? Oh, I'm very happy. Okay. okay. Now we're going to start the marinated shrimp. All right. So you are going to be my little pot stirrer. Okay. Don't you think she can stir the pot? <laughs> okay. Today, right. we're going to start with some oil, okay. which is about a third cup. Third cup. Olive You're, oil. Olive oil. All right. Oh, well, that looks good. Oh, I love olive oil. I bet you do. I do. What else okay, are we, we got some white wine vinegar, vinegar, about a third cup. Okay, now you need your little pot stirring device, which is right. a whisk. Oh. And you should remember what that is from our last time together. Mm. All right, so now what's our, next, <laughs> what's our next ingredient? Then we're going to have mustard. mustard. Okay, looks This good. is a little Dijon, and that's about a third cup. And you can okay. use about any amount that you want. And I'm just going to set spicy. this right here. So you start whisking that in there. I'm going to add about, I, I use the, the garlic, you know, like I've showed you back from all the early shows. I've taken, I buy the whole garlic and then I chop it up in the food processor and I put it in a jar. Then I have my own chopped garlic. It saves you a lot of money and you can just use it as you feel. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to use about, that's about two cloves and I only know this because I do it all the time. Yeah. Then we're going to add, oh, sugar. I'm going to do this first. Okay. A little bit of sugar. Sugar. That'll balance out the tartness of the vinegar and the Dijon. Right. We're going to put in some paprika. Oh, I'm going to go a little color. bit heavy with this. Oh. All right, that's going to look pretty. Look at that. Mm, look at that color already. Look at that. Hold on. Mm, it smells really good. No, it does. Okay. Yeah. We're going to use a little bit of dried basil. All right. Oh. I think that was a little too much. A little too much basil. Maybe at home you should do it with the tablespoons by the recipe, not what I just did, because <laughs> it's not supposed to be that way. So right. we'll just put this back where it belongs. Bad basil. I'm stirring. Stir it. Good. Now, Sonia spent several years in pot stirring school. I did. I just want you to know that before she could come on Capital Dish. Right. And, okay, now we're going to put in, this is two, two stalks of celery, single stalks, diced, not, actually they're called ribs. You know what ribs, ribs are? Ribs are, yes. Ribs, where are the ribs? Ribs, ribs, ribs here. There you go, baby. Yes. Okay. Do you know uh, women used to want to have their ribs like be like really tiny, wasted? Like have a rib removed or something? This is a cooking show. Okay, I know, but I was just talking. Maybe you need to be on like WebMD or something. <laughs> okay, this is the baby shrimp. No, they're not baby shrimp. These are actually large shrimp that cook down to very small. And I get them from my favorite seafood store, Southern Seafood, just so you know. Ooh. And you can get these anywhere, where you live, you can get them. But I have them, I bought them already peeled, deveined, um, and so they just, and I just steam them. And look how easy they come oh, that's out. that's great. So we're going to go ahead and can put I, these in here. Can I add those in? Yeah, actually, so you can see. I'm going to put them all in there. And this is about a pound and a half to two pounds. So you just yeah. need... Give me that. Yeah, I can't use that anymore. You, you stir that up in there. All right. You guys, get a good shot of that. I'm going to put this over here. Okay. And I'm going to start the fire because I'm going to start the Caribbean chicken. On the chicken. Now, this is really, really easy to do because your guests are going to love their mar they marinade. And get them all covered, Sonia. All right. I'm, I'm now I'm going to start with the Caribbean chicken. And I've taken the chicken breast and I've filleted it in half horizontally and then I sliced it just so you can get more. And you know what? It's not about, it's, I'm kind of doing portion control for the summer because, you know, everyone's in the tight, tight clothing. Yeah. But. With right swim, with it's swimwear. It's beach swim weather. weather. So you beach wanna weather. Be, there yeah, you go. Beach, beach weather. weather. So I got a little so bit of flour be... in here and I'm going to just coat this chicken strip. They're chicken strips basically is what you call them. And it's going to just give them a little coating. And I got that going because this is going to make the sauce a little bit thick. So while that's heating up, All right. I'm going to set this right here. While that's heating up, I'm going to start. This is my own little mixture. It's a Caribbean mixture. I'm going to, I have a little bit of water in here. I'm going to add some soy sauce. Ooh. I'd say that's about a quarter cup. A quarter I got cup. a little bit of orange juice. Orange juice too. A little bit of orange juice. I'm going to add a little bit of, it's going to take a second. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Here Ooh, it comes. Honey. Honey, baby. Look at the honey. Ah, that's going to be great. That's for you, honey. Okay. Oh, I got you. a little bit of maraschino cherry juice. You know, it's 
Caribbean. Oh, yes, yes, bum, bum, yes. Bum, 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 Okay, okay. back to cooking. We're cooking. Now we're going to do some orange marmalade. Remember I used it when we went to south of France? Now we're using it in the Caribbean. Yes. So I put some orange marmalade in there. Mm. And you know what else I need? What else? What else are you going to have to do? I'm going to put a little cayenne. Ooh, a little spice. Ooh. Yeah. That ought to knock their bathing suit off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now, I finished we're, with the shrimp. What about okay, the shrimp? Okay, those Anything go into else? the refrigerator. Refrigerator? All we're right. going to stir this up. Okay. I'm going to put this in here, let it set. I think my pan is getting a little bit hot. I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil. I'd say about three tablespoons because I don't want a lot of oil. This is actually flavor for the chicken. So we're going to put Should that there. Should we mix that a little bit more? Yeah, don't, yeah, just keep mixing okay, that up. Keep so mixing the flour. Be careful. All you right. have fly all over the place. All right. Now, do you serve dishes like this at, at your mom's place? Uh, we do. We do have chicken. Because um, you guys not, are all about the meat. Yeah, yeah. It's all about, um, ours is uh, steak. But, steak. You know, yeah. Like a big piece of steak. Big piece of steak, yes. Okay. We are going to, they're, they're, they're rushing us today because we've got to hurry up. We are going to. Get our chicken going, our Caribbean chicken going. When we come back, we're going to be doing a really special Anheuser-Busch recipe. It's a beer cheese bowl, and it's a real nice dip. Yeah, oh. I'll, I think only I have it. I'm oh. not sure. I think so. All right. And um, we're going to drink some wine, and we're going to put this all together, and, and we are going to have a Caribbean feast. Sounds good. We'll be right back. <laughs> 